McKenna did well on short, did very, very well. Bouncing at the Irishman, he got it. Yeah, so, uh, so I always wanted to go home to play from a club in county in Gaelic football. So I so had to make a decision and COVID probably just made it easier to go, to go home at that stage. Football wasn't that enjoyable over here with the hubs and was happy to go home and pursue Gaelic football. I was lucky enough to win a, a All-Ireland back home with my county Tyrone, so that was great. And sort of once I ticked that box, I sort of knew in my head I probably would come back at some stage. So that's probably when the ball started to roll a bit more to come back to AFL. Yeah, I suppose at the start I was sort of talking to different clubs and just getting a general feel for clubs and I suppose as Joey was here, I was sort of talking to him probably since I was home to be honest, just in small chats and text messages and he was sort of always saying how good a club it was and how happy he was up here and obviously Brisbane's uh, pushing for a premiership, they've been in the final for the last four or five years so that was probably a big draw. I wanted to come back to be competitive and hopefully win a premiership. Tag Canelli's the only Irish player to win a All-Ireland back home win a Premiership, so that's sort of my goal now is to hopefully win a Premiership and sort of uh, get onto his tag. Yeah, so having sort of Joey and probably James Madden as well, it just makes it easier having sort of a familiar face to, to talk to. It's, it's quite daunting coming into a club and not knowing anybody at the start, so just having people that feels probably more like home, it's, it's good to just sort of break it in. It's been good buzz, I suppose. I loved it when I first came out and probably fell out of love a bit with FM and come the end of my career at Eston, but really just sort of enjoying the challenge again of getting back into training and, as you say, meeting, meeting all the players and sort of getting to know them, which is it's enjoyable. Yeah, it's been good, obviously, just trying to learn the different game plan and obviously the players have to talk to them through training and I think we've got a bit of match play this week, so it'll be good to get back into the swing of things, but yeah, as you say, I'll hopefully be playing around the half-back area. That's probably my best position. Yeah, obviously the team's going well, so normally the team's going well close to the top. It's pressure for position, so it's it's good. It puts pressure on boys, but it gives everybody a challenge to sort of keep pushing for the next level, and you can't have sort of time to just dwell on what you're doing, so it always pushing the next level. So I'm really looking forward to getting to that. And pre-season going well. It's been good back into the swing of things, and as I say, a bit of match play this week, which will be enjoyable, hopefully. Yeah, I suppose my goal is just to get back into the first team, really. That's my main thing. That's what everybody wants to do, is get their team team in the spot, spot in the team, sorry, and, and pushing. If I don't, then just pushing the, the players ahead of me to make them better. That's really the goal. And ultimately, everybody wants to win a premiership, so that's the, so since being here, it's a real talking point, which is getting everybody going. Yeah, it's really good. I, I knew Dar when he came to St Kilda. He was there for probably five years when I was at Essen, so it was really good. As you say, the Irish community, especially in the NFL, sort of meet up a lot and go for feeds or whatever and just have a chat and it's sort of someone to relate to going through the same process. So, great to have them, the more the merrier. Yeah, he's a big solid fella, so he'll probably be a, a second or a third tall and just works hard and does what he does to the team. So he's probably one of the players that will go under the radar a bit, but he does what every other player wants him to do in the pitch. Yeah, golf's probably won. I played a lot when I was at Essendon and I suppose it's a good lifestyle here for it. And I haven't played a whole pine in the last few years back home, but I'll, I'll get back in the swing of things and horses are probably my other love, so I'll probably get down to a trainer or two at some stage and maybe do a bit of work with them and sort of just see how they did over here because my dad trains horses back home, so I own a few, so hopefully I'll maybe buy into one here.